Hello. I'm Indogene Doctor and welcome back to Life is Strange. We are currently outside the campus. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I meant we're on campus but outside the actual academic building. Yeah, so this is Rachel Amber. She's the the What's the name of the first picture we took of the, the thing that had been carved into the table inside? And she, she's 19 years old, so she's a year, a year older than we are. There are, I believe, three pictures we can take out here. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. This is the first one. There should be a Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. There should be a squirrel with a Coke can somewhere, I believe. I think it's this one. No? Ah. No, it's not. Uh... Oh, wait, no. I don't think the squirrel with the Coke can is actually here. It's... We have to take a picture of Trevor doing some skate things, though. So we have to talk to him Yo, first. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. How does that make us a poser? A poser if if you try to appear as if you know something about something you know nothing about. We did not try to sound like we knew anything. So we're rewinding. He's kind of being pretentious. Yo, Justin. Check. We came to no slide then. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Tree flip. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. And because we're so classy people, we're gonna go take a picture of him. Squirming in pain. Okay. Just gonna make sure. Okay, let's move along then. Go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. That would do, but we also need to find the squirrel with the coke can oh. so we can take a picture. Also, Kate is down here looking sad, so we're also gonna talk to her. Let's take the picture of the squirrel first. It's right here. Photobomb! Now let's talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind nice. of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, 
I think we can all feel a little over humanity at some point, sometimes. See, we want to go into our dormitories, but she's blocking our way. Victoria Chase. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. Yeah. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Uh, they're just a three part cliche. Nice, bro. Let's go get her wet in the m most possible boring way ever. What the hell? Are you kidding? Awesome. Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. You know, maybe you shouldn't pay so much money for a sweater that can't stand to get wet. I mean, how will you ever wash it? Hey, do you understand English? Get lost. Yeah, see, we need that paint can to hit the ground next to them. See, that will make some damage to her cashmere. I really don't think the water is that big of a threat. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. That is true. Oh, and they're sitting down again. Uh, we're running over here and we're winding time then. Uh. Now we're gonna go tamper awesome. with the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? <laughs> oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. I'm not sure how towels would help her with paint nice. on her on her clothes. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? You see, it's so tempting to make fun of her, but I'm not gonna do that because it's very far from what I would do in real life. What can I say? I'm a doormat. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Sweet. It was. But there'll be another. Yeah. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Oh, Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Okay. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? 
I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. See, for a second there, Victoria was being really nice, but then she went on to call her two best friends sluts. Yeah, we don't like her. We really do not. We have a Stephen King reference here, Victoria which is going to be pissed we took so long. Which I love. Huge Stephen King fan here. Well, our room is at the end of the hall. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. That sounds like a bad idea, not a good mix. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. So apparently, this is a place where people just enter each other's rooms without knocking. Or, you know, just when people aren't home. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Mom wrote. Yada yada yada. We're not reading this. We're gonna water our plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If you don't water it at all during the game, it will die. But if you water it more than once, it will also die. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. It's a lot of dorm room drama Welcome going on. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, by the way, Kate's room. Uh, here. Someone have written on her slate, we'll bang for Jesus. So we're gonna remove that. This is Dana's room. We need to get in here because she has a drive. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? It's Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Okay, let's go rummage through <laughs> Victoria's room. Yes, she lives across the hall from where we live. Great neighbor to have. Uh, the drive we have to get, it's our friend Warren's. We have to bring it with us to the parking lot. That's why we're looking for it. Um, yeah. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yeah, long story short, Victoria lied about the sext, obviously. Oh, wait, we have to print it. Oh, no. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Don't give her props. And for this nice shot. 
Okay, prove that Victoria is a This dirty better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Oh, wait, I'm missing a photo up in there. Two seconds. Gonna mess up Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Yeah, so we're gonna take a photo. I'm also going to rewind time because I don't want her as an enemy more than she already is. And like I said, I'm boring. I would not do this at all in real life and I don't think Max would either. We also have to go back into our room because I forgot another photo opportunity. Just kind of look ourselves in a mirror here and take a photo. I do believe that's all the photos right here. There's one more when we get outside the dorm room. The dorms. Dormitory. <coughs> okay, let's get back to Dana and Juliet. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Dana's one of those stereotypes that doesn't actually match up, which is great. She's a cheerleader and really, really popular. But she's really nice to us. And generally to everyone. So we like her. Where were we going with this? Oh, outside. Leaving the dormitories. So there's one photo we can take out here. To do that, we have to save Alyssa Fuck from being shit. hit by Ow, a ball. That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Yeah. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, helped someone and then had a window crash. Well, we have to take a photo of this. And that's the last photo opportunity here. Before we leave the... the campus altogether. Or... Ah, not really. There's some in the parking lot. I'm not sure that's part of campus, though. Go to the parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. We're gonna intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. He's such a douche. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. 
It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, we're not minding our own business. He's a douche and we wanted to help Kate. So now we'll go into the parking lot. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. We have a photo opportunity out here. We go to this RV. We have to draw on the window. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. So apparently, it's not a dirty RV. Because she wrote, I'm so dirty. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. You know, we go... We're going to talk to Warren, but I'm gonna... Yo, Max! Check it out! I'm going to stop the video here. Because we're, uh, I think we've been going on for about Max, 25 minutes. Get your ass over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here, and I'm just gonna head off right from where we, we left off in the next video. So, uh, bye.